Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to everyone who watched my first video and subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. I am going to teach you today my signature makeup look which is quite natural and I'm going to be using all of my favourite products. So let's get started. The only thing I've got on my skin at the moment is fake tan. So we're going to get straight into primer using my favourite, the Dermalogica Primer. So as I mentioned, this one is my favourite because it's a skin perfecting primer. So it takes out any redness in the skin, any imperfections and it just smooths the whole complexion out. And you can just use your fingers with this one because you just want to warm it into the skin as you would use um, a moisturiser or something like that because it is kind of like that texture. So there we go. So it looks like I have a little bit of something on my skin before I've even put my foundation on. So next we're going to use my favourite foundation, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And my shade at the moment with my fake tan is the shade Tawny. So I just like to put some of the colour in the palm of my hand and then I'm going to take my new favourite brush, the Real Techniques um, Stippling Brush. And just pat that onto the brush. And put it on the skin in swirling motions. It doesn't need to be perfect because I'm going to go in and blend it out with a sponge. So if you just dot it on the skin, make sure it's all over, that's the main thing. So now I'm going to take the Dr. Dennis Gross Hydro Pure Smart Spray and spray it onto my Chi Chi sponge. Just one spray on each end. Give it a little squeeze and then I'm going to blend everything out. So going over your foundation with a sponge is just going to give you a really airbrushed look. It's just going to smooth everything out and make sure that it's not sitting on top of the skin, that it's actually blending with the skin. So now I'm going to take my Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer in the shade Medium. I'm just going to concentrate the product under my eyes and through the center of my face because that's where I want my most coverage. And also over my eyelids too. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my other Chi Chi sponge and also put a bit of Hydro Pure Smart Spray on that. What you can do, because it is a nice and big sponge, if you want to use it around the eye area, you can give it a little pinch so that it's smaller and then take it in that area. Perfect. So now we've got our coverage happening, which is what I'm all about. Now we're going to add a little bit of um, light reflectivity below the eyes. So we're going to use the Models Prefer Eye Brightener. And I'm just going to draw two triangles underneath my eyes. And fill them in. And you just want to let that sit there for a minute and then blend it out. And the idea is just to brighten up in this area. So there we go. Next, we're going to set the face with my favorite powder, the Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder in the shade Darkest Brown. And for this, I'm going to use um, the Jess Up brush set. And the brush that I'm using is the powder slash brush. <laughs> powder slash blush brush. Just swirl it into the product. And I'm going to take this over the nose first and through the center of the face. And then I'm going to switch to my bigger brush, which is also Jessup, which is the large powder brush. It's got a nice flat top. And I'm going to pat the powder into the skin instead of swiping it. Because if you're swiping your powder and rolling it, it can bring off some of the product. Okay, perfect. Now time for bronzer. So I'm going to use the NARS Laguna Bronzer. And I'm going to use this little brush here. So I got this one in a Benefit pack when I was like 12. Not really, like 15. 
and it's the best for contouring. So I'm just going to firstly take the Laguna down each side of my nose. I call this a cheap nose job. See what a difference it makes? It just thins down the whole nose. I'm just a little bit over the tip of the nose. There we go. And then we're going to use the same brush and just create a line for our cheekbones. So you can naturally see that there's a bit of a line there. I'm just going to follow that line just to create a shadow and we're going to blend that out. Don't you worry. Now I'm going to dip the brush back into the product and turn it the opposite way. Perfect. Now I'm going to use probably my all time favorite product in the universe, the MAC Gold Deposit. So I'm going to use it on a blush brush, which is the NARS brush. I don't know if it's number six or nine, depends what way you hold it, but you can make that up yourself. You can just decide. So I'm just going to put a lot of product in the brush and just put that on top of where we've done that line and where we've blended out that contour. Just like that. Now on the apples of my cheeks, I'm going to put the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Dolce Pink. So smile. And just blend it upwards. Perfect. Now going over the top of my blush, I'm going to do my highlighter. So firstly, I'm going to use my favorite sports girl highlighter, Glow With It. And I'm going to use this one on the Jess Up brush, which is the tapered highlighter brush. So I like to get a generous amount of product onto the brush. Swirl, swirl, swirl. And because it's a pinky shade, I like to take it over the blush and also up my cheek. You can never have enough, so double dipping is good. And then I'll just take a little bit down my nose as well. Followed by the one and only Mary Lou. Swell, swell, swell. I want everyone to be able to see me from outer space. I want NASA to be able to see my cheekbones glow. So pack it on. The only crime is not enough highlight. No such thing as too much. And just a little bit down the nose. And using my ring finger my cupid's bow. Perfect. So now just to tidy all of that up, I'm going to use the Astralis banana powder on my big flat brush, my powder brush. And just take that below the contour and over my chin. And just give a very soft blend. So now we're going to move on to brows. I know everyone likes to do their brows in different orders, but I have the theory that if there were to be a fire or something that I'd have to evacuate my house for, I'd rather have my base done and then my brows and my eyes are my last priority. So I've got the Stiller brush in number 18. I'm obsessed with brushing my eyebrows all the time. Because I always feel like there's something that can be done to make them look more perfect, more perfect. And I'm going to use the Hourglass Soft Brunette Brow Pencil. So I'm just following the natural shape of my brows. It's got a nice flat angle on it, this pencil. So I'm just following it like that. And the tail of the brow, you just want to turn it on its side like that. You don't want to have too much product in the um, first half of the brow because it can look a bit angry and a bit concentrated. You want to just keep it nice and light there and then put a bit more definition into the end of the brow. And the reason my brows look like they're already done is because I get them done and get threaded. So they thread my brows for me and then they tint them. So I don't need to put much effort into my brows. It's just tidying them up. So now just to set them in place, because I've got them exactly where I want them, I'm going to use the NARS Brow Gel in the shade Kins Hazard or something like that. This is just like brow mascara, so just get in there like you would a mascara. Perfect. So I've already got that concealer base on my eyelids. I'm going to apply the Chanel 
Emmaville, which is a cream eyeshadow, with my ring finger straight onto my eyelids. The reason I do this is because it creates a nice base for the um, colours I'm going to apply, for the powders I'm going to apply, and it makes them last longer. Great, so I'm going to follow that with my favourite product, which is MAC All That Glitters Eyeshadow. And to apply this product, I'm going to use two of the Jess Up brushes, the small tapered blending brush and the tapered blending. So I'm going to swirl the product onto the small one. And you just like to swirl it into the crease as well. You don't want to take it too high, but just into the crease. Next up, I'm going to use my new favorite shade, which is Mythology by MAC. On the same brush, And I just put that shade straight over the top because I want to build up the colour. Next is a contour shade. I'm going to use MAC Bronze and I'm going to use the bigger blending brush. So just swirl that one on and I'm going to concentrate it on the outer corner of the eye and in the crease. I'm also going to take this same shade on my flat definer brush and place it under the eye instead of putting eyeliner just to create a smoky kind of bronze effect. Now I'm going to take the Benefit Highbrow Glow and place that under my brows. It doesn't need to be perfect, you can blink. <laughs> It doesn't need to be perfect. You can blend it out with your ring finger. I went to say, I combined the words bling, blend and ring, didn't I? Blinged it out. Blend. Now I'm going to take the Jess Up Large Fluff, love the name, and use the MAC uh, Crystal Avalanche shade. Just a little bit of this one. A little bit goes a long way and just put that over the top of the benefit as a highlight. And I'm also going to take that same shade on the Stiller number four brush and concentrate it in my inner corners. Now I'm going to take the Stiller Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner and I'm going to give it a good shake and I'm going to hold it on its side and just draw a very natural fine line across my eye just to give it a bit more definition and just to thicken up my lash line. And then just put a little bit in my inner corners as well. So obviously I've got eyelash extensions on. If I didn't have these on, what I would normally do is apply the Chanel Inimitable Intense Mascara. And then over the top, I would apply lashes uh, pretty much every day, which would be the brand is Amazing Shine. They give you the exact same effect as these eyelash extensions do. And the number is 43. So they're my recommendation. So I'm just going to give my eyelash extensions a brush. Perfect, now it's time for lips. So let's get rid of these horrendous concealer lips. Now I'm going to line my lips with the NARS pencil in Sex Machine. And just color them in as well. And over the top, I'm going to put the Chi Chi shade Bombshell. And to finish it off, I'm going to use the Urban Decay setting spray the All Nighter setting spray. Perfect, there you go. So this is my everyday look. I pretty much wear it as my signature look. I wear it if I'm going to something important, if I'm going to uni, if I'm going to work, whatever I'm doing, I pretty much wear this look. So this is my absolute go-to look. It works for any occasion, any situation, and I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Take it slow, but it's not typical. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I can't wait to see you all again next week. Bye!